Hey guys, I've got a quick little unboxing here. I've got two packages, and today we're going to unbox them. Right, this is maybe an ESC. Right, no. It is that. My tier one. This one must be in the SC then. Yeah, it's in the SC. Cool. Um This one out. I'm just get blue staples. I've literally just woke up, woken up, walked up, <laughs> woken up. My mum just literally brought these up to me. I'd go over to me at ESC. Just, just literally for the simple reason that it's got the on and off switch, but you can use any. Right, on and off switch. Right, them connectors. I'm going to change them to Traxxas as soon as I can. Um, made in China. Not a big surprise. One more thing to come, and that is a drive shaft, a year racing aluminium drive shaft coming from Hong Kong. Um, I'm pretty sure that says, um, put this in your car, it is meant to go in your car. Maybe, I'm not an expert. I actually wonder if they've got English instructions. Yeah. Yes, I've been smart enough. Alright, let's put that up there. Um, I wonder if they got a product code for this. You could try them codes there, maybe. There's the one on the front. Yeah, I have number. It has um a minimum turn of 23 that really kind of sucks but yeah i got a Tamiya car so i went with a Tamiya ESC just getting rid of the staples don't want don't want to lay on with them Number three. Right. 
I've, I've, I've pulled it out and there's another bag. What is the point of packaging it if you're just going to use two bags? It does not make sense. Probably don't want the precious paper to be scratched by the gears or something. Let's focus. Yeah, everyone know I'm reading that? Good. about this. I really don't want to get any stuff all over my bed. Oh, oh we got these. Um, these are the things that after you put the bar through it, caps the end off. Right. Got a diff here. There's no writing on it. Alright, here. T seven four. This one, I think this one's still the front gear box. I'm not quite sure. This is a front diff. I think. Because in the box up there, I actually have one of these. Not built, nothing. Um, <laughs> so I don't know if that is important or not. Which probably is, because it looks like a diff. But... My front has a diff, maybe it has two diffs in it, uh, a spare diff or something, I don't know. Should we put this together now? That's boring. Um, then that, I have literally no clue. Um, we've got them end caps, and then there's some more gears. Oh, these ones, that one and that one, go on the end of the drive shaft. Now that, and then this one, um, oh yeah, I know what that one is, that one. I think it connects to the main rear spur gear and then to one of those and then to the diff I think but it shaped something like that I'm not sure but these all got a complete set of gears why not Let's change 20 year old gears today and install this. Actually, wait a minute. Um, what side is positive and what side is negative? I take it the yellow is positive because it's a lighter colour. And again, brown is um, a live colour. Um, same thing with green and yellow, but this is blue and yellow. Can they just stick to one colour, like red and black? Really? Too hard? Now, if you guys actually know what <laughs> one it is, what, um, the motor has green and something else. <laughs> Um, if you guys know what's positive and what's negative, 
Actually, no, don't worry. I'll just have a little play around with it. If it goes in reverse, I know what way know to change it. This like this switch, quite a good switch. I like it. It hasn't got any um, play in it or anything. Maybe just a tiniest bit, but but I don't know. Let's switch that off. All right, guys. That um. That is the unboxing. I'll list the part number of this in the description. Right, I'll list, I'll list the part number of the tier one gears in the description. Um. Oh yeah, if Lee's watching this, just do a quick heads up. The spur gear that you got, it says Manta Ray. And the one in my car also says Manta Ray. Um, so I think that was stock. Uh, that's it. Peace, I'm out.